and good morning. Welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. It's the second day of winter. And if you've been following the series, you're going to say, what happened to the last day of fall? Well, there was a data problem. But we've recovered nicely and we're able to continue on with the series with no problem. So, and that's what we're going to do. There were some changes that I have to go over. Still have Donkey, by the way. Donkey's doing good. Uh, we added a couple more fields up here to our farming area, and uh, one of them is dedicated to wheat and cabbage, although I think I'm going to turn this over into being uh, spring wheat and fall rye. But that's going to take a little while to turn that over, because we have to wait for this wheat to come through. And we're going to have cabbage and carrots in this one, um, which will be nice. We've already got some carrots being planted. We should be able to fill that up, and that'll be good. We have our two rye fields that are also going to be Oats and linen, and we'll probably swap these out, um, or flax rather. Probably swap these out so the, the flax is closer to this resource building over here. Which is something that we could do this winter, get this one finished, so we have closer proximity to this production building. Plus we have another kitchen that we also have to finish uh, work on as well. And uh, we built a little campfire over here for everybody to sit at. Nice little, nice little thing here. Let me, uh, oops, sit down here so everybody can check it out. I think this will work out well. I think it'll be nice once these trees come in. This might be the one of the few exceptions where I keep pines in my village. Just think it'll make a nice little, little enclosed seating area. Or not enclosed, but protected with all the trees that'll come up. So I think it'll work. This is where we stand. So now. Well, there's another thing that we have to address, which is we found a new person. Uh, Henrika. Henrika is stellar. She's got threes and everything except for diplomacy. Right now she's our seamster in our sewing hut. And Kunigunda, who used to have our affection, I think has now been replaced with Henrika. It's hard to pass on looking at all of these wonderful stats that she has. So, Enrica, I think, is going to be our, our new love interest. And what better way to start this off than now? We might as well. Wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to talk to you, Enrica. Please, come back. Hey. How is life treating you? Life is great. You know, you seem really interesting. Can I ask you something? Where do you come from? What's, what's your favorite season of the year? Oh, she likes winter. No farming. Man, that's awesome. You seem interesting. Can I ask you more questions? Nice weather we have today. What do you think? Okay, that's a generic one. All right. Oh, look at this. Now, how are you doing, beautiful? I've never felt love like that before, and it scares me, but I'd rather spend my whole life living in fear than to draw even one more breath. People being proud of who they are are rare these days. Some people live their whole life trying to understand love, but that is not to be understood, but to be felt. I simply adore your hair. It shines like a morning dew in the sun. Wow, these are actually uh, pretty interesting choices as far as what we can do. Proud of who they are would be good. Some people live their whole life trying to, be under to understand love. This love is not to be understood, but to be felt. Hmm. We're getting, getting deep. And this is the proposal question, which we're not ready for yet. So let's see. People being proud of who they are are rare. Let's go with love. Love. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think we... Oh, we get another option. Get another chance. We got a zero on it. All right. Let's see. I've never felt love like that. That's the proposal. I've always appreciated an empathetic and sensitive woman like yourself. Heard that our neighbors in the West eat frogs. What do you think about that? Would you try one? Your smile. Oh, we didn't do very well on that one. <laughs> oh, she's a comic. All right. So we need to, we should have done the frog thing. Oh, we got another option. Nice. Sometimes the world just seems pointless. Oh, God, that's dark. 
Okay. I was going to say, hopefully we have another option here. What's the difference between a woman's argument and knife? Jokes. Oh, I hope it's a good one. Oh, it is. All right. And we're done. So we're up to 40. It's actually not a very good improvement. So... See you soon. Scoring zero on that one question. That's a big... Ugh. That's a big ouch. But... Enrique, everybody. Enrique's in the village. And... We're doing pretty good. Uh, let's see. Since we added these fields... We need to, uh... Worry about fertilizer. And because we don't have any more rot. Let's check. Let's just check to make sure. I could be wrong. We might actually have more than I think. So we have enough to do one field. So that's 50. I think if we grab enough cabbage to do the other field, because carrots won't turn over till summer, wheat won't turn over till summer. So we only have the two fields that we need to worry about before we have access to berries. So we don't need to get too crazy. So let's just grab... 150 cabbage. That'll leave us plenty plenty to cook with. Do we have anything on this that we want to throw in there while we're getting into all this stuff? No. Okay. So let's throw this in here. That'll give us 50 more fertilizer, I think. Pretty sure. It might only give us 450 rot, but it'll put us close. And... We have 542 coin. We've got a lot of buckets in here. I bet you we need water. So we'll grab those. We'll get some water. Now, there's really not much to sell. I mean, we could go and sell this copper axe. Um, I don't think that's going to be necessary. Check our tool limit here. See where we are. I had to make pickaxes, and I adjusted for that. I think we're going to wait and we're going to make stone hoes and sickles as we need them. Whether that's at the end of the season or the beginning of spring, I don't know yet. Um, got lots of bowls, so we're, it looks like we're probably making too many bowls. I need a drink, I'll fill up these buckets, and then we'll address our production issue with uh, tools and such. We got some warnings in the upper left, so I'm going to have to address those. Find all of these go in the food bin, so I got to do that. Let's throw them over here. I think we need to adjust our production for tools, but also our sewing hut. So let's grab this really quick. That's one warning. So we're uh, not producing the thread. We'll start with 75. We'll do two a day on the fabric, and we're going to do bags. Don't know how many this will allow us to make. So let's maybe do. 60 25 all right we'll do we'll try this we'll see uh we'll see what this amounts to once we get some fabric in the system hopefully we can catch that before they start making bags so we can see what our numbers are going to be here we'll do a recipe for this one just because it's asking for it and what is that going to be? So the other one's going to be focusing more on meat. This one is going to be focusing on pottage for sure. So we'll probably do 30, 30 pottage. And we'll do stew. We're going to have carrots coming in. So we'll do 30% stew. And we'll do meat with gravy, baby. We'll put some onions in and we'll get some plates going out of our... Uh, Thing. We'll do some meat with gravy and get that. All right, so we have everything squared away. So we've adjusted our stuff. We got everybody water. Did we put their water away? We did. Um, now we just have to build this kitchen that we've got going on, get it up, and this resource building. 
So let's see if we've got the resources to do that real quick. And then we can get focused on doing some other things with the remaining time we have in winter. So, our logs. Let's grab... Let's grab 30. We're going to be very heavy. I don't know if there's anything we need to unload. Some stone. Got an extra hammer. Yeah, so let's just do this. Do a sidestep shuffle. Get over there a little faster. Finish the kitchen. And throw the remaining logs into the resource building. And okay. So we need a few more logs here. We need sticks and straw over here in the kitchen. So we can grab those. We're going to have to grab a few more sticks though. Because our sticks are low. Let's grab the straw. And we'll go ahead and throw it in both buildings. Because uh, we have our... Oops, being done. Oh, that reminds me. I'll bet you this field is done. Let's check it. Let's, well, we can check it through here. We don't have to run over here. Let's make it easier. Yeah, it's fully planted. So, that means both of our workers can go from the barn. So, let's see. We have our farmer. So, farm shed. Let's put her in the barn. And let's take... Nuta. Oops, no, cancel. We don't want to get her, get rid of her. Her in the barn. And let's check our barn. Man, so much. So much management things. And let's, uh, let's see, we don't have enough resources. Oh, actually, we do have some rot. So let's drop this down. So they can make that rot 50%. Oops, we can get going. Let's get that going to 50%. Uh, let's try 40. No, actually, let's drop this to 40. And then this to 40. And throw our wheat. I think we have some spare wheat laying around and maybe some rye. I don't remember. Just so that everything gets processed out. I don't want anything lingering around. We could get into flour and all that kind of stuff, but I don't think there's much of a point. So let's, uh, let's focus on getting the oat done. That's a lot to do in a day, though. We'll focus on that fertilizer. We'll get it done. Okay. So now, now we've got everything taken care of for management purposes, I think, finally. Unless, hmm. I spoke too soon, probably, right? Did we address this? Buckets 5.2, small baskets, wooden bowls. We don't need that many bowls a day. That's a lot of bowls. Times 5? Five, 5 bowls a day? No, nah, we don't need that many. We'll drop it back to that. We'll put our buckets to 1 bucket a day for durability, because they have like, what, five uses or more or something? So that should work for that. That'll give us some more buckets and more water and maybe increase it a little bit since we have some extra, because I don't need them doing any more baskets. That's just going to take all of our, all of our sticks and we need those for tools. So two buckets a day. I mean, that's a lot. We'll drop it down to this. So we're going to have some extra some extra production that's just getting lost because I don't want to do anything else that's going to take any additional resources until we can get our resources up and running better. So let's keep building. We need a few more logs for the resource building and we're going to need all of our straw, I bet. And we still don't have any sticks, so let's just grab... Uh, how many logs? 12? 14? I don't even know. Probably not that many. We'll find out. Alright. A few more sticks over there. We'll get that done. We'll just throw whatever we've got in here. 
Let's see, we got straw going in here. Oh, just a lot of sticks now, huh? All right. So we're good on everything but sticks. So let's uh, go grab some sticks and get that done. It's a shame we don't have enough sticks coming in. Might have to look at another wood cutter just for sticks. Just to maximize that production. That means we have to recruit a whole other person just for sticks. I don't think that's worth it. I think we're going to have to just put our character to use here. Grabbing what we can. Alright, let's see how many we can get away with over here. Let's get our kitchen done first. Oh, we did need another log. Okay. Glad we had it. All right. Oh, I'm not quite done. Now we're done. All right, kitchen's done. Uh-oh, we got a lot more warnings popping up all of a sudden. All right. That is the resource building done. The second one, anyway. Let's uh, put all the remaining stuff in here. Only three sticks left. 30 straw, though, so that's good. Let's uh, check our shovels. We've got pickaxes five. I want to go get some resources in the mine. I think we need to start addressing that. So I'm going to grab three materials worth for stone pickaxes. That way we can make those. Oh, we've already started making linen fabric, so um, we got to check our management tab and see what our production is on bags. So because we don't have more than one linen fabric, it won't tell us what we need in order to make bags. So we're going to have to wait until tomorrow to figure out how many uh, bags, but I think we already know. We can dial this down and focus on linen thread pretty, pretty hefty. So we'll be able to do that. So let's see. Um, mining. So we're dirty. Now let's take a bath. So we've got the resources we need. So to make the pickaxes, we've got our nice road that's going to be coming through here. It's going to be excellent. So the only way to improve production is going to be insulating the buildings or building better tools. And... Daub is going to be required to improve the insulative value on things like the hunter's cabin over there. And I also think the kitchens. I think that also helps with the kitchens too. I'm not necessarily looking to improve the production on the kitchens per se just yet. Nor really on the hunter's lodge. It would be the woodsheds and the excavation building. That I would want to improve that. So right now, we're going to be going and getting resources at the mine. And that's not to say that we want to make tools right away. We could. The, the problem is, it's just that these recipes, all that stuff adds up to be a lot. So if you're going to do anything, you're going to unlock copper axes and you're going to do shovels, maybe, right? So that's where we stand with that. So we're close to the workshop, too. What's that going to give us? That's going to give us clay stuff. Clay items. We're just really not ready for that yet. This is really what we're looking for. As soon as we get this, the bronze. So it's not that really far away now that we're cooking a lot more, especially with the addition of the other kitchen, finding the other person, which is what we're going to be doing. That's going to be increasing our production stuff. We've got somebody in the workshop. We've got somebody in the sewing hut now. So we're our production has increased dramatically, honestly. So unlocking these things is just around the corner. We're going to need these bronze tools well before we get into iron. So the leap 
from Smithy 3, from Smithy 2 to Smithy 3, is huge to get into iron. We're going to be in bronze for a while. The jump from Smithy Copper to Smithy 2 isn't even worth considering copper. There's no point in unlocking the recipes for copper, honestly. Um, I mean, if you think about it, you're going to spend 150 on that. That's 300. You know, now you're at 400, 500. So you're at 500 coin to unlock these things. And we're going to be into Smithy 2 probably by the end of winter. Definitely by the end of spring. There, there's no point. We're two seasons away from getting into Smithy 2. So, definitely not going to worry about it, which is going to allow us to put another person working Smithy 2. So, we're going to go get some resources and gear up for that because we have to have enough resources to be ready to play that game. So, it's time to mine. And Donkey, you're over there. Come this way. <whistles> Grab something to eat out of my pouch here. And yeah, now it's time to go. Oh, I need to make those tools. Oh, I gotta do it at the bench. Wait, do I? Do I have to do it at the bench? No, I don't. I can do it right here. The sickle needs the bench. Hey, donkey. All right. Why don't we have, um, so many errors on the screen? What am I missing out on? Oops, wrong button. Uh, sewing hut. Oh, that's because we don't have the resource for the bag. Smithy, though. Okay, well, we'll address that. They should have plenty of stone axes. We're missing sticks, per usual. Um, we cut back on the... Making of baskets, so... Let's just do it even more. We figure out what's going on with the sticks, because we need tools more than anything. Let's just do a basket a day, and we don't need to increase anything else. Yeah. Alright. Let's go do some mining, donkey. Yeehaw! I just really do like the weather in this game. The season changes. It's such a nice aesthetic. They've done a really good job with the way this is presented. The latest update with the butterflies and the insects. I'm not sure if it's always been the case when you grab a stick from a branch um, that it pops the snow. Let me show you on this one right here. Where you grab it and it just uh, puffs the snow up there like that. I don't know if that's new or if it's always done that. I don't even know, but it's such a nice effect. What a wonderful game. And with all the updates that are coming, some great things, you know, happening with the game. They've done just such a nice job. The developers in particular, not so much the publisher, but the developers have just done a great job with this game. I'm very impressed. We need to be cutting up this way. I guess we could be looking for loot over here, though, along this trail. Sometimes there's a cart that comes down. It's usually right in here. And I'm not seeing any carts. Just a bunch of wolves. Alright, now we're getting into bear country. But anyways, with all the updates that they've been making, it's been great. It's been good changes to the game. And with the co-op edition coming, and the armors and... Or, uh, what is it? Arms and armor update as well. Although I think they... See, I think that they're going to... That's going to be the addition to co-op. Is they're going to add the arms and armor um, as the last one. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're going to be doing something else completely. And I'm excited for that. What do you think? 
What what are you most excited about as far as the changes to Medieval Dynasty and what's coming, or with anything in particular with the game? Wait, did I miss the mine altogether? Oh, I did. I ran around it. I'm coming from the other side now. Hopefully I didn't aggro the bears. I don't think Donkey can outrun a bear. Ooh. It's a hill. Let's give us a little bit of girth here. Oh, there's the... The dream tree, I think they call it. I'm not sure. But anyway, let me know in the comments below. What are you most looking forward to with the game? What are your thoughts on the announcements? Alright, so we're going to see a bear there. So we're going to leave Donkey. Leave Donkey behind. And which one do we want to shoot first? No. Nope. That one's facing us. I think I missed. Can't see. Where'd they go? Oh, hell. He's up there. I'm not going to get a clean shot. I'm not sure if he's going to bleed out or not, though, from those. The other bear's still shaking his off. Okay, they're a little closer together over there. So they've both been suffering some bleed damage on those arrows, which is the nice part about that. Oh, I wonder if I could stand right there on that outcropping and... Cheese the game a little bit. It's a little exploitive. I'll have to do that. Let's take a long shot. So that hit, I think. This one should be one arrow away. I don't think I hit with that. I think I went too high. Well, maybe not. That one might have gone too high also. not aim so high. Did the other bear drop? Boy, he's just so squirrely. I don't even want to take the shot. The other bear looks like he's down. Is he down? Is he down? So just one more bear left. Where all these arrows go? Did I miss? Maybe I didn't miss. Okay. It's getting dark already. Nobody wants to be mining in the dark. Oh, donkey. Oh, bear's not going after donkey. You leave donkey alone. Oh, I'm just, I can't do it. I have no stamina. Oh, there he goes. Now he died. Okay. All right. Donkey's safe. I don't know if I'm going to get many arrows back from this, though. Each one took what? Yeah, I only got one arrow. Okay, there's one. This bear's got to have, like, five in them. Getting three. So maybe I did miss a few shots and they're just really far away now. Well, we'll have to give that a look another time. We came here to get some pickaxing in. So let's get the uh, pickaxe in our two slot. Let's get a donkey going. <laughs> Let's grab as much as we can. Oh, 
I need to get this tin and copper. Yeah, donkey. Good donkey. You stay right there. I'll come back for you. Oh, water drop. Don't need salt. Don't want any salt. Oh, I got all that bear meat stuff. I'm going to be heavy. Maybe I can throw it into donkey. Lighten my load a little bit. Let's throw the ore. And that fur is going to be heavy too. How much can donkey hold? Another five. Over here, donkey has got another five. So, we need saddlebags. We definitely need saddlebags. Getting a lot of stone too. So I'm going to be dropping the stone on the ground. And I'll be holding that because that's more than the donkey can hold. So let me drop the stone. Get it out of here. And let's see. While well, I'm thinking about it. Not that. I want this. Uh, I need some more sticks. We're going to make a campfire, and... Oop, ran right by it. Let's grab a couple more. We'll make a campfire to go to sleep after we mine some more of these resources. That way we're not running back in the dark. So let's, uh, do that. We'll just spend the night. we got food. We've got donkey. We got our torch to light up in here, so this should be mostly sufficient to get us going. Is that copper? That's tin. We've got a lot of tin. Need to balance it out. But we'll just go to bed for the night. Oh, it's so dark. Look at lonely little donkey at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> All right, donkey. Let's go to sleep for the night. We'll sort this out in the morning. Sleep till the next day. If you enjoy my Medieval Dynasty content, use the like button and let me know. Also, subscribe to the channel so that you can easily access more Medieval Dynasty tips, tutorials, and gameplay. Now we've got the last day of winter, basically. Yep, donkey will ride. So we'll ride back. We'll uh, get all this resources stowed away. And then, uh, then we gotta go off and do some recruiting, because we need another farmer. And we need some more production going on, but we need men. We've got too many ladies living in the village. They're all going to become pregnant in uh, short order. So we definitely need more men working everything. So we need a production guy and a farmer. Let me try to avoid these wolves going left here. Sometimes there's... Yeah, they're chasing somebody. Oh. Donkey is heavy. I don't think we're going to be able to outrun wolves. Let's try to lose them on the fences. Oh, good job, donkey. woo -hoo. Big jump. Did we lose them? We lost him. All right. Excellent work, donkey. You're such a good donkey. 
We'll move around this side of the uh, lake too, since we already scoped out that side. Sometimes, uh, sometimes packages sweep up along the shore here. So, oh, just like this right here. We got some barrels. Barrels. Oh, we got three barrels. Nice. Big score. Oh, we're so fat, heavy. Flower. Oh, it's kind of useless. Oh no. More flour. That's not useless though. Let's we'll take 102 coin. That's nice. All right, donkey. We got to get back in a hurry. We have recruiting to do, so we need to get out and done by the end of the season. Make sure our fields are all done too. I think they are. Oh, right in the tree. Here we go. Back to home. We'll unload all of our resources and stuff. So slow. We got 26 copper and some worthless flour. It's only worthless now, though. So it sticks in. Oh, yeah, I should have unloaded all that stone. That's what was weighing me down. I forgot about it. But uh, we'll use it. And let's see. What have you got, donkey? Copper ore for meat. All right. To throw the meat in the thing. So that's eight more copper. Lots of fur. Get the meat thrown in. And we're doing dandy. We're doing just dandy. All right. Now it's time. We don't have anything to sell, really. Um, except for maybe flour. I'll grab a drink, and we're going to get on our way. So, we uh, we recruited Henrika. Oh, that reminds me. It's a new day. Where's my love? The love of my life. Are you at home? She's probably already cooking or something. What is she assigned to? This is Kunagunda. She's in the sewing hut, right? Maybe? I don't remember. Stamina's too low. Enrica. Hello. Yes. Your voice is a little lackluster, but I adore you. And I really want to talk to you. How are you doing, beautiful? People being proud of who they are are rare these days. You have exceptionally beautiful eyes. Even though I just said your voice is terrible, your voice is lovely. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay. How are you doing, beautiful? That's the finest dress I've seen in the whole valley. I once heard that the king's castle is really amazed dozens of hidden doors and passages. It sounds amazing. It's surreal. Do you know why bears would never use swords? Because they always fight with their bare hands. So she likes the jokes. But I think the dress thing also plays to her too. But let's go for the jokes. Plus eight. Okay. How are you doing, beautiful? Oh, no. We didn't get the bonus question. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Bummer, man. All right. Well, we're doing pretty good anyway. So we've got her up to whatever it was we got her up to. Over 50%, I think, or close to. So we're good. We're making progress. That means tomorrow we are doing even better. So, Henrika, what I was saying is we recruited Henrika from Denica. So, there's a lot of quest missions over here. We could probably load up for that. Um, we only have one day to finish them, though. So we're not going to bother. We are going to go over here. So let's go ahead and put our marker on Custodia. We'll go that way. We'll take uh, advantage of the loot opportunities going out here. See that pig just fall from the sky? It just fell right from the sky. Right there. Huh. We'll get over here and do some uh, looting along these roads and paths and see what we can come up with. Oh, there's a hog. And see if we come up with more loot. Pay our taxes. We need uh, 1,400 coin plus, hey, there's a little logger camp here. 
1,400 coin plus, what, uh, another maybe 200, 300? It's hard to say. Oh, ripping us off with the stone axe. That's terrible. God, I wish we could build carts. Oh, they did give us a copper one, though. So that's cool. Is that it? I don't see anything else. That must be it. Not a lot happening here. All right, so we're going to check our map. So this path, this path takes us back up this way. We want to join up with this one and come down here, run along the coast. So we're going to keep heading north just to make this little split right here. And then we'll run along here. Sometimes there's a uh, creek up here that has some stuff. Well, that's new. So we'll just grab some of this leather and probably fur, I'm guessing. A little water skin, stone knife. You know, it's kind of lame, honestly. Burn leather. That's about it. But now that we have a sewing hut, we can turn that into some pretty good stuff. Which we will do here soon. The moose are out enjoying the weather. It's good to see. Punt the bunny with our donkey legs. Is there another one over here? Sometimes there's a logging camp here. There is something here. Is it just logs, though? Could be just logs. And we're just going to end up selling them because uh, they're going to be too heavy to carry back. All right. Give a peek out here on the bank on the shore. Get donkey a little wet. I'm not seeing anything over there, but some of the bushes are in the way, so. Yep, I'm not seeing anything. Nothing on that road over there yet that I can see. So it runs off that way. That's pretty empty. Oh, we got a little little stuff for things right here. Is this from us? Did we drop all this stuff here at some point? Because it kind of looks like it. It really looks like it. Like a lot. <laughs> it a lot looks like it. Okay, so we picked up that stuff. And we have uh, another cart here, so that's good. This has got potions and things. These will fetch a pretty good, pretty good bit of coin for us. Maybe a couple hundred or so. That's nice. Potion of night vision. And two poison. Awesome. Oh, that's uh, Inbane there. I think that's it. All right, donkey. Let's get to Gastovia. Let's uh, let's find us some recruits. Recruit and loot. That's what this is about. Recruit and loot. Last day of the season. Another log area. And... Not a big score in this axe, that's for sure. The mead's nice, though. Couple mead. Three mead total. Oh, we'll plant those trees. We have plenty of spots for those now, so that's nice. It's usually a basket over here, too, but I don't see it. Different, uh, different form. We're overweight. We're gonna have to be dropping off logs. And we picked up all those extra spears. We'll drop those around here, too. Barrels are over there. All right, let's, uh... Let's go check out the barrels. Probably more seedlings, probably more flour, honestly. The flour we don't need. I'm going to drop these logs over here. I don't think there's a spawn right here, so I don't think we're going to be preventing anything from coming in. So those are just really heavy right now. Oat grain. Nice. Ooh, plums. Plum seedlings. We'll probably plant those too. 
I think we're beyond the point where we're selling seedlings now. I think we're more interested in getting the fruit so we can make different recipes and things. But, um, I don't know. We might be desperate. We'll hold on to them until spring anyways. When we go to pay our taxes, maybe we'll need to sell them. We gotta talk to Alwyn, I guess, huh? So, let's see. Scarbamira has got a 3 in extraction. And this one's got a 3 in farming, but uh, they're ladies. And right now, I'm not interested in the ladies. Where's Dobramira? Hmm. Who is Lasota? I've never seen Lasota around before. Okay, where's this? Hello, there's Alwyn. Hey, what's new with you, Alwyn? He's got my hands full. Well, that's too bad. You buy a new one? This is my favorite one. For you, my friend, let's pretend this is not disgusting at all. What can I do? We've got to go to Denica. we got to fix his uh, water thing. All right, we'll do that. Let's, uh... Talk to Unighost since we're here. Get this out of the way. Hey, Unighost. How's the valley treating you? Well, we're good. It's wonderful, Rasmira, but you come at a poor time. My duties as Castellan await me. Of course, I understand. Yeah, it's... Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. There's been a murder. What? I thought things like that don't happen here. Because I don't. I'm just about to go to the crime scene and question the witnesses. I honestly don't know what to expect. I'm sure you'll take good care of it. Well, time will tell. Yes. <laughs> Jokes aside, Rasmir, that's really a serious matter. I won't be able to share more stories with you at the moment, but I believe there's someone you should meet. His name is Sambor. He is. He was one of us. The pack, I mean. Are you serious? He lives here. That's right. All of them do, actually. Here, I've marked Sambor's house on your map. You should pay him a visit. Great. I'll go there very soon. But be aware. Calling Sambor friendly is like calling being stung by a bee right on the tip of your manhood pleasant. Oh, I'm sure you're exaggerating. He was part of the reminders. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. All right. I'll be on my way, then. All right. We progress the story along even further now, which is nice. So... Let's see, we've got our journal tasks. We've got Unighost, we've got to go talk to Sambor, and Sambor is all the way up here, which we could technically do right now and get that going underway. And then we've got Alwyn's story, 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 and that takes us over here to Denica. And let's see, we are going to cross the river. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. We're starting to run late. I do want to find two men, a production and a farmer, so that we can get things happening a little bit better, a little bit faster. So, we'll go to Barwo. Man, do we want to go up and talk to Sambor right now? I think we're going to save that for spring. We'll talk to Sambor in the spring. We'll go up to Branica. We'll do this run and see if we have time to come down and get Alwyn's thing fixed. That way in the spring, when we come to pay taxes... We'll, uh, we'll have it already fixed and ready to go, and all we'll need to do is give it to him and be done. So I think that's going to be the best use of our time. I really wish I would have brought our stuff so we could see about doing these quests and things for everybody, but last day of the season, it's a first day of the season kind of thing, so we'll wait. Let's go see what we can recruit and uh, get back over to Denica to get this fixed for good old Alwyn there. I wonder, should we get chickens? That would just require another farmer, but we could. Plus more animal feed. Well, we got three guys here. Three lads to choose from. We got Willemir. And Willemir, your stats are bad. We've got three in diplomacy. And that's it. Stats are bad. Not looking very promising for us. Let's head back up this way. See what we can find. Maybe we'll run into some more loot. That's the name of the game right now, right? Recruit and loot. 
recruit and loot. All right, what do we got happening out here? We've got... This is Namir. Hey, he's an excavator. Too bad I'm not looking for an excavator, Samir. We got a farmer. We got Bill's boar. That's not bad. And we got a production guy in Gerwin. Okay. They're not the most stellar of specimens, but, uh... How are you? Well, you look like a Lannister. Small talk. You tell me something about your skills. Farming. Okay. Creating new settlement. Great. See you there. So that'll be somebody for either like Kunigunda or the other one. And small talk. You tell me something about you. So he says that he's really into into hunting, which he's got. Did I look at him wrong? See you soon. No, he's the production guy. So he says he's hunting, but he's got a three in production. So somebody said that that doesn't matter. Let's find out. So he's going to be working in our kitchen. So as far as houses go, I want to try to pair up people accordingly. So let's back to houses. So we've got this one, which is Kunigunda, and she's a cook. So the other production guy could go here. So that way when she gets pregnant, he's picking up her task and role in that. And we've got a barn worker. So the farmer is going to go here. So that was Bill's Blizzbor. Blizzbor. So he's there. And this house with Kunigunda is going to be Gerwin. Hopefully that'll work out. Hopefully they like each other. They're not too far apart in age, so it should be pretty decent. That means the kitchen is going to have. Gerwin in it. He's going to be doing that. And we're going to assign the barn to... Oh, wait. Barn can only have two. So he's going to go in the farm shed. I need another farm shed. Unless I made a mistake. I didn't. Those ladies are going to be getting pregnant here very, very soon. So... Where's our herbalist? Yes, he's the only one around. Let's sell Greetings. Norbert here Straight as much whatever. of the stuff you that need. we don't want. Um, yeah, we're going to sell the axe. It's 100%. And, uh, yep. And, um, tempted to sell the fur, but it's really not that going to be that much of a money. I just want to get that out of my inventory. The mead. Definitely selling the mead and the poison at this point in time. Night vision. I think we have the sobriety that we need and we're going to get rid of the strength. Um, don't care about the meat, so we'll sell this. Sell the simple torch. Um, we're going to sell it. We're going to sell it. So far, we're keeping keeping up with all of our other stuff. The wooden cup will sell. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So right now, we've got our tax money, which is good. That puts us in a good spot. We'll hold on to the apple trees yeah. and the plums. And uh, Have we're doing okay. Day. We're not doing too bad. And we found our two guys. So that means we don't need to recruit anybody else. We can keep moving. Now we're just on a looting mission on our way back to Denica. So it's uh, 1,600 hours. So we'll hit Branica. We'll do this pass looking for loot. To going through the trail. We actually probably will cut down here instead of going to Tutki. Uh, so we can get to Denica and get that done. Because I think we're going to have to provide leather, the materials for it. Which means we're going to have to hunt. I think it requires you to hunt the deer. But we'll find out, won't we? So, I'll see you when we get over here to Branica. See what we missed out on recruiting-wise. Three possible recruits. How bad did we blunder? I'll bet you we're going to find people with all threes. Who do we have? Well, we have guys. Or at least a guy. Mildreda. 
Oh my gosh, Mildreda. You have a lot of threes. And Tibalda. Well, you don't have very much of anything. I'm sorry, Tibalda. Alright, we didn't do too bad. Although, missing out on Mildreda last season, or taking somebody's place, I think our, uh, our farmer, maybe. But that's alright. Still looting. Still in the looting phase of the recruiting and looting. Hey, more fur. And what is that? Is that wool? Meat. Oh, that's not worth anything. I don't see any knives or anything. Could be missing it. But we're going to keep moving. Think. Yeah, I gotta take that road. That's our road. I so seldomly go down this road. Did I miss it? I don't want to miss it. Could be, uh, could be seeing some camps up here. They like to, uh, spawn over here by these wizened. I don't want to. We got moose. More ore. Take that stone pickaxe home. Hey, doggy. Doubt there's anything over here to the left since we uh, found this cart here. But let's just take a peek, just in case. It's going to be hard to see in the winter. Not seeing anything. So it may chance be that there's just nothing over there. Let's keep moving on. Alright, Tilda. Nobody's gone to bed yet. Might have time. Hey. My skin broke his water skin. Hey, I can repair it. As far as I can tell, it won't be particularly difficult, but I'm missing. What do you need? A few feathers will do. These forests are full of wildlife. Feathers? That's all we need? What? What did he break? Did I miss... Did I miss this? Yeah, his water skin broke. Leather? Did I say feather? <laughs> That's funny. Leather? Uh, yeah, so we have to hunt too. And they're just over here to the west. And we're going to get onion seed that we can plant in spring. And we'll just do a little onion patch to get our onions going. So there's deer. And we've got... Make this shot. Nope. Missed. Now I need to... Oh, there is still deer there. Wonderful. I think we might have lost our arrow, though. It will have gone really far. And nobody's in bed yet. We're still hanging out by the fire. Wonderful. Hey, Matilda. <coughs> Ask accomplished. I just like to lend a hand to people in need. Oh, I know Alwyn. He's a good boy. Here you go. Thank you for your help. Excellent. So now we can deliver this to Alwyn. When we go pay our taxes, we've got our tax money. We've got two new recruits doing everything that needs to be done. Uh, there is one thing I need to change, though. I want to change in our... Production in our first kitchen. I want to change our production here. So they're going to focus mostly on meat. So let's take them off of the stew. Uh, we don't have that many carrots anyway that I know of. I'm surprised we actually can make this at all. Let's make this be 
15% stew and 15% pottage. And we're going to max out the, the meat. That way we can grab a stack of meat when we're running around and won't cause any issues. Excellent. And it's not going to be too dark when we get home. So we can plan out our day for the first day of spring. Big day. Big, big day. And we're back to our snowy little village. All right, donkey, we're going to park you right here at your house. I don't think you have anything in your inventory. I think we probably picked up some onion seed along the way. And we'll just throw these in there. Fishing spear, the fur. All that plum wine. It's amazing. And we got wool. Alright. Oh, I have fish meat and stuff. Let's unload that. Because it'll rot really fast. Being on our inventory, we just want to get it unloaded. And all that meat. That's a lot of meat. And we still vote green on us, but that's fine. Figure all that out tomorrow morning. All right, well, I'm going to call it here as this being the episode. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. And if uh, you'd like to see more Medieval Dynasty content, don't forget to hit the like button. And also comment below if you are interested in participating in the discussion. And uh, look forward to having you all in the next one. See you then. I really appreciate you taking your time to watch the video. If you enjoyed the content, please utilize the like button, as that simple action benefits creators like myself the most. Also, if you're interested in seeing more, subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be able to more easily find previous videos as well as regularly posted content in the future. And of course, if you have something to say or you want to join the conversation, please use the comments below as I genuinely want to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Until the next one.